Hi, booktube. I'm here again with another... I call them weekly reads, but I didn't update for a while because I was just reading the same stuff and I didn't want to talk about the same books every video. Um, I have a wee bit of a haul. I had... I've bought a lot more books. There was a book sale. Each book was $2 and I just had at it. Um, but yesterday I went to the actual bookstore and bought some new books. I got a copy of Earthlings by Saka Murata, but I've lent it to my brother. I've already read it. I just want um, all of Saka Murata's books on my shelf because I loved everything I've written by her. Um, and he's read Convenience Store Woman and enjoyed it. I then uh, gave him Earthlings and I said be prepared because <laughs> uh, that book gets messed up, but it's really good at the same time. So yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, I also got the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I started reading this on my phone a long time ago, but I just, I'm not, I'm not any good at reading on my phone. But I liked, um, what I had read of it, so I figured I can, uh, pit in the, uh, the money to buy it, a new copy for myself. And then I got, um, another book from the Malazan series. This is the tenth and final book. I don't have the full series yet, I believe. I think. I might at this point. I'm not keeping track. I really should keep track. Um, I keep track of all the books I have, but I don't know off the top of my head whether I have all of these books now. But I know I didn't have this one. And they told me if I spent $12 more, I'd get um, a discount, which meant like basically that this book would be free. Or the $12 would be free. But now these, I remember, these mass market paperbacks, especially for science fiction and fantasy, used to be eight bucks. Eight bucks. <laughs> And now they're sixteen ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine for a mass market paperback. It's just like these books were always around twenty something. This one was twenty one ninety nine. Like that's, you know, not too much of an increase. But mass market paperbacks have jumped. Like, do I have a mass market paperback within reach? Not really. But like, they were like eight bucks. You can go. I'm, I'm not going to complain. Can't do anything about it. But in my reading, I've restarted Ulysses uh, by James Joyce. I've read the first two chapters so far. Um, I'm taking minimal notes at the point, at this point, but I'm doing tons of tagging. Um, <laughs> there, that, that tagging. So much so, I gotta get my bookmark because I don't want to lose my place. So much so that I bought these tags just for it because the tag the colors actually mean something this time so I'm going through a lot of these um yeah and then just writing along the uh the uh whatchamacallit you know you know you know those things the margins that's what they're called so I'm reading that and then I'm reading the notes from this section from this book on it um yeah and I'm uh, doing it over, I think I decided over three months I'll be reading that book. Um, so it's not too much pressure um, to finish this month. One book I do want to finish this month is um, 1984 by George Orwell. Uh, my coworker was talking about it and how much she wanted to read it again. And I was just like, it's been a long time. I don't think I've, I think I've only reread this once. Um, so I was like, yeah, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta reread it and take it this time. Um, so that's what I'm doing in there's a lot and I was I had a I stole a pen at work um, I left it at work so I didn't steal it from work but um, and I've been taking notes um, in the margins again not in everything just you know just little questions and stuff that I didn't want to forget why I take certain things Oops, more notes stop I love it when we get I don't have anything written here, but I love having these at the end so you can write lots of notes on them if you want. Um, yeah, the last thing, well, let's do the last thing I tagged. <laughs> uh, so the last thing I tagged in the text of Ulysses was, that is last tag, okay. Not at all, Mr. DC said as he searched the papers on his desk. I like to break a lance with you, old as I am. Um, and that was tagged because the, the symbol of this chapter is the horse and breaking the lance is like a joust um, debating I don't know where I'm gonna go with it but I thought I'd take it anyways 
And then the last thing I tagged in Big Brother, I called it Big Brother because I was reading Big Brother in it. Last thing I tagged in 1984 was, oh, anything old and for that matter anything beautiful was always vaguely suspect. Um, yeah, just the the idea of, um, I wrote down, well, people always rebel for something beautiful. And why, what was the point of taking away beautiful things and how that was the opposite in Brave New World. Not necessarily beauty, but um, pleasure, stuff to look at, good things, um, good feeling things <laughs> were given to them, whereas it's not in 1984, so, yeah. Um, today on my schedule, <laughs> aside from work, which I just got home from, I, well, I didn't just get home, I got home and I ate. I watched Untucked uh, from Drag Race. Um, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, but today on the schedule after work was to read some comics, uh, from, from, uh, you know, the library. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm, I'm, had a bad allergic reaction yesterday and it's just, it's dragging into today. It's just, oh, okay. So I have my brother's husband, volume two. This takes like, not that long to read. So I'll finish that one. I also want to finish The Boys, Volume 1, because I love the TV show. Oh, God, the comics. I'm not sure. I've heard that the, the comics are much worse than the TV show. Um, so we'll see. Um, let me tell you what they're about. My Brother's Husband is about a man's husband dies. Um, this man right here. While they were living in Canada, and his husband was Japanese. So he goes over to Japan to discover things about his husband, like, um, his brother and, um, his niece there. So yeah, that's what that one's about. And then the boys is, um, like, what if Marvel was bad and capitalistic and like, not saying it's not, but like, you know, the, the Avengers were like that. And you have a team of people who, uh, come together to defeat the uh, the Marvel Corporation, like the Avengers, not not just the superheroes, but the, super, but the corporation that runs them too. So bringing it all- what the heck? Oh, there's all sorts of stuff going on in there, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's very quite graphic and very adult. If they're willing to put what they're putting on the back cover, then it'd be interesting to see what's inside. Um, this, I've read the first comic in. Um, so this is Abandoned the Old in Tokyo by Yoshihiro Tatsumi. These ones have authors too. They were up on screen. You can read the author's name yourself. <laughs> um, anyways. Oh yeah, Garth Ennis. I recognize it. Um, yeah. Oh, see, there's a bookmark in there. Um, this, these are a classic. I, I heard it was a classic. I'm not entirely sure. Um, is there a date? There is no date. Oh, over here maybe? When it was first published? No. I just know it kept coming up when I was looking up um, classic graphic novels that you have to read. So yeah, it's uh, interesting. It's definitely for adults too. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff you gotta show. Oh God. Even though it's not, like, it's... Let me find a not-so-graphic page. Like, it's kind of cartoony. But there's, like... That scene was just... Graphic. I... I love... You can learn something about me. I love violence in media. Um, just seeing it, like, I just... It's not It's not even just the violence. I love, like, action movies and um, that kind of stuff. Um, like, fight scenes and stuff just fascinates me. Um, so, yeah, I like seeing that... In fiction. In fiction. Not in real life. In fiction. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm the least violent person you will ever meet. Like, I hesitate to kill a mosquito sometimes. There's a lot of mosquitoes here, so it's, I'm not too hesitant to kill them, but, you know, like, I, I don't like killing. And then there's this church and state one. I know I'm not going to finish this. This is, like, 600 pages of a comic, but I'd like to start this one. Um... As I said when I first showed it a while ago, 
I have no clue what this is about. There's no, there seems to be this weird creature. Creature there. Can you tell that's a creature, not a human? Um. Oh, cool. Um, the art is kind of reminding me, like the style, is kind of reminding me of, um, oh my god, why is it Escape Moon Shadow? Uh, which is my favorite comic. Um, but that's also colored in watercolor, but just the drawing style kind of, I don't know if there's anything graphic in here, is reminding me of that. So I'm assuming this is about church and state, because there's no description on the back. There's no descriptions on the inside. It just says like, repent. Oh, reprint. <laughs> I thought that said re repent. It says reprint. Um, and there's nothing on the inside. Um, besides a table of contents. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what this is going to be about. Um, so yeah, that's my goal today. I read some work of this. Um, I'm going to read maybe some of this, maybe not. Who knows? But I'm definitely going to read some comics tonight. Um, so that's it. Going the week forward. Yeah, I think. I'll probably pick up another book later on in the week. But for now, that's all I have planned. Uh, so let me know what you're reading this week. And thank you for watching.